Okay, recording. And hello, sheeple. Um, I have a few more notes I'd like to read to you this time on what's going on in France and America and as a reflection to uh, the rest of us. So, let's get straight to it. Even though what's going on in France right, right now is, is, is bad, it's better than doing nothing. Uh, here in uh, Australia and um, um, you know, just like uh, uh, in America, we'll just do nothing. I mean, we'll just completely keep taking up the arse until we're completely lifeless. Um, in France, they are at least telling the authorities to go to hell. And sheeple uh, all around the world should um, be doing the, exactly the same thing. Um, if we can't have mass non-compliance, i.e. no more paying your parking tickets or uh, pay, no more paying your taxes, no more recognising anybody's authority above that of your own, doesn't matter if they're the police, a judge, uh, a prime minister, a king, they are accountable for much injustice in the world and we recognise them only as criminals and abhorrent sheeple, not nice sheeple like us. Uh, it may be disappointing that as with France we can only uh, riot and burn, um, but we've been devolving into animals for quite some time so we can only do what we can. Is what um, we see in France, uh, is this the reason why authorities are trying so hard to disarm uh, Americans? Uh, I mean, having only authorities with guns, uh, that would be a situation that's much worse. Uh, the USA is, is over as we know it. Um, via weaponized immigration, uh, trashing the military by making it gay or woke, uh, if anybody's stupid enough to even join it anymore, uh, and giving gazillions of dollars in resources to the ludicrous uh, war in Ukraine. Uh, and also given away even more uh, resources to, um, to worldwide initiatives for this crap and, and, the, and, and this lies. Um, the weaponized immigration I was talking about uh, involves, you know, it seems to have involved a lot of um, fighting aged men as opposed to families flooding into various countries, changing the culture and politics, uh, and often clashing over religious uh, differences. I mean, in France, I went there one time and they're very racist and this unrestricted immigration was always gonna cause major issues. Um, France is becoming a bit too Islamic for a lot of the uh, original lo locals, depending on how far back you go. Islam, I hear, is now the second largest religion in France, but it's by far the most active. Uh, the present trouble is supposedly over the shooting, uh, the police shooting of a 17-year-old uh, Algerian boy. Uh, but we know the mainstream media never tell us the truth, or certainly the whole truth. So who knows what's really going on, and more importantly, why? Uh, America uh, already is unable and certainly unwilling to help its own population re ever increasing poverty and homelessness uh, and open borders alone could bring down uh, the country. Uh, not that uh, America isn't responsible for much of the hardships uh, abroad that created the need for immigration in the, in the first place. Uh, also the USA has uh, drastically weakened its military, as I said before, by adhering to ridiculous uh, woke ideologies and giving way too much uh, in resources uh, uh, and, and they can't, you know, they've given away so much military equipment and resources they couldn't possibly replace that. Their manufacturing industry isn't strong enough. Uh, I mean, uh, they couldn't replace the, what they've given away in, in the event of a terror attack of some sort or attack by any country, um, uh, in, probably in the next decade. Um, the USA has also raised its debt ceiling to the stars. 
and, uh, and it still continues to hand out money like confetti to support, as I said, uh, world nonsense, nonsense agendas lies like these ones uh, world, uh, worldwide. Uh, and um, uh, the, money, uh, the money, of course, won't even go to the intended cause. Uh, you know, as per usual, it'll go to corrupt scoundrel buddies of politicians and, you know, that, as, as that's always the case. Uh, I mean, all America is, is um, uh, or was, it, um, it was a big uh, war machine uh, that was built to bully the crap out of the rest of the world uh, after taking over from England after the Second World War. Uh, without its military, USA is nothing. Its military is being intentionally dismantled, therefore America is being intentionally dismantled. Uh, also, according to um, uh, OpenTheBooks.com, uh, uh, millions and millions of, of dollars in various grants and contracts are being paid to entities in Russia and China, the very countries that supposedly want to take the USA down. You know, I mean, I know they're all working together at the highest of levels, but, you know, on the surface, they're, they're the countries that want to take it down. And, um, and uh, uh, millions of American dollars are going to Russia and China. Uh, some of the uh, activities that the money is supposedly for include uh, uh, gender equality via an exhibition of New York magazine cartoons. I think that's for Russia, I'm not sure. Uh, Russia or China, I think that's Russia. Um, money for Chinese IT companies to design USA military software, which sounds insane, so a possible enemy is working on their uh, defense software. Um, uh, a Russian money for a Russian health insurance company that, uh, uh, um, that was, uh, after it was sanctioned in uh, 2022, it now, it's now received money from USA. Um, a state-run lab who's re in Russia has received money to put cats on uh, treadmills uh, for whatever why I don't know. Um, Russian alcohol and addiction research, um, money for a Chinese state-run uh, uh, Wuhan labs to conduct virology experiments on bats and mice. Uh, Chinese farmers received um, grants, American farmers just seem to be getting attacked. Um, and the Pentagon also cannot uh, account for trillions uh, worth of assets and, and money. And who knows uh, what they're doing with it and who, who they're giving it uh, to. Uh, the USA will be deservedly uh, ditched by most um, other countries, including NATO countries, uh, as soon as the dollar uh, collapses as per design. Um, even Turkey told America, no way, when America tried ordering it to give a, a weapon system to Ukraine. Uh, Turkey had bought that uh, weapon system, which was a S-400 air defense system, from Russia for around about 2.5 billion. Uh, so the unbelievable arrogance of America to want to put Turkey in the middle of Russian uh, hate uh, when its own system was used uh, against it to take down its own planes. Um, ludicrous. Um, this war is already between the USA and Russia, not Ukraine and Russia. Um, Turkey has enjoyed uh, uh, USA and NATO protection, but knows not to bend, o bend over backwards to the USA, because then things will get a lot worse. And it doesn't have to anymore. Uh, countries such as Turkey will not be threatened by uh, the usual sanctions or worse, for not complying with American demands. And USA uh, cannot afford to maintain its intimidation bases all over the globe, and therefore it will not be intimidating anyone for very much longer. Um, the might of their dollar is diminished, and Russia, China, India, and many others are standing ready to take over as either the, uh, the next new superpower or just as stronger uh, independent nations. Of course, at highest level, you know, the world is all the whole world is run by the elites. Uh, Western sheeple, uh, during this, these dramatic changes, uh, will, uh, will suffer uh, a lot, uh, and the elites will reign stronger 
than ever if we don't stop them. The moonlight fades with the morning glow. Good night, sheeple. Let's switch this thing off. Ugh.